Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you uh, a few of the new features in the new Photoshop Elements version 12. Now, there's lots of new features, uh, some better than others, and certainly the ones of interest for myself, and that's the ones I'm going to show you. Uh, and that's just going to go over to Photoshop Elements 12 and Filter, Sketch, and there's an option now that suddenly appeared Comic graphic novel and pen and ink. Now for some weird reason they do not appear in the filter gallery. Don't understand why they're not in there. And they don't actually appear over here. If you go to filters, go to sketch, <laughs> there's none actually there either. Unless I've missed them, but I'm nope, quite certain they're not there. Anyway, going to the actual filter, they're actually quite effective. Uh, they're not, and I'm certain with a little bit of playing around you can actually use them to even greater effect. Um, I would say that uh, maybe using them on layers perhaps and blending using blending modes might even be more effective so obviously just this raw effect might not be the best way of applying it so here's the initial one there's actually a selection of presets and this is the comic one not particularly obviously there's thousands of different styles for comic styles I mean there's not one comic style uh, I mean if you look at Jack Kirby's artwork or you look at uh, Joe Manili's or whatever um, obviously it's impossible to actually create a computer program that could generate all those so this is a nice a nice enough comic effect and there's a few options to soften and also shades the number of I wouldn't say that it's the quickest it does actually do it eventually yep so you can modify it and also you can modify the outline I personally I think works best with the outline the thickness to be a little less but depends what you want to achieve and also you can add smoothness to it as well right. Right, I'm just going to click OK at this point just quickly show the end result and it will do it eventually yes applying comic filter and the end result mm, it's okay but it's got uh, there's also of course many plugins available on the web as well as other applications to do comic designs but this one is it's good I'm quite uh, it's a reasonable design now filter next one sketch and graphic novel now why graphic novel is different from a comic I do not know because to me, comics and graphic novels quite often are synonymous. So, but anyway, this is called graphic novel, and it's actually in some ways that's nicer. That actually has got a nice effect. I like the the black and white in some ways much better than the color options. There's a nice fine detail option as well. That actually looks really quite nice, quite decent. Change, modify the darkness, the cleanliness of it, which. I must admit makes me very suspect that the behind the scenes this is actually the oil paint filter or certainly some it looks swirly line looks very similar to the oil paint in Photoshop but anyway that made me my suspicions about that um, but it's uh, still very effective and maybe a combination of the oil paint filter because that's the sort of options the cleanliness option as well anyway there's also a contrast option which actually just makes it very dark. I'm just going to go back down. Other presets, just click that one. Right. They're not the quickest, I must admit. <laughs> it does actually seem to take quite a bit of time to actually process. And this file is only 640 by something. So, right, just going to can cancel that. That's that one. And the last one is pen and ink. And that comes up with a nice sort of colour options. You could actually modify the colour. And of course you could do the similar sort of thing probably using the graphic novel. But uh, there's contrast, fill options. Obviously make it really green there. Or we can go back there. Make it darker. Yep. And again, width of the light. And there's, like I say, some presets again. Now, I think this is quite good. It's a nice addition, and it'll be a nice addition to actually see in the um, Photoshop, maybe. But uh, I'm not going to hold my breath on that. But uh, anyway, 
I think it's a nice little addition to Photoshop Elements 12 and I, I would suggest that uh, you check it out. Obviously it's uh, this trial version available on the Adobe website and it's a really good application. Hope you found this quick run through of some of the features of Photoshop Elements 12 of interest and that you'll subscribe to Graphic Extra's channel, always adding new videos. Thank you very much.